Welcome back to Slim Comics and More. So today is another top 10 video. This is my top 10 books for 2022. Alright, welcome back guys. So uh, David from Seeking Near Mint Comics wanted to see my books, uh, my top 10 books in my collection. Uh, I saw his top 10 uh, books in his collection. Um, I believe his video was uh, about four days ago or last week. And um, yeah, I, I commented on his um, his video and uh, he commented back and he wanted to see my uh, top 10 books in my collection. So uh, these are basically all um, my CGC uh, books. Um, some of these books I got back from uh, CGC. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. So this, uh, I'm gonna start off with um, some Star Wars books. This one here. So this is Star Wars issue 42. Uh, this is the first appearance of Boba Fett. You have him on the cover there. So yeah, um, great book to have and uh, got it back. Uh, it took a while, about six months, and uh, came back as a 9.4. I think it's, um, it's still pressable. I think um, if I was able to press it out, it'll be a higher grade. But um, yeah, uh, glad to have it back. 9.4. So that is uh, Star Wars issue 42, first Boba Fett. All right, next one. This one here, this is another Star Wars book. This is Star Wars Heir to the Empire. This is uh, from Dark Horse Comics, issue one. And it's a six-part miniseries, uh, issue one of six. So this is the first appearance of uh, Thrawn. So uh, he is um, mentioned in The Mandalorian, and uh, hopefully we will see him soon. So uh, first comic book appearance of Mar Jade as well, uh, Joris C. Both and Grand Admiral Thrawn. So this is based on the novel by Timothy Zahn. And I do have... Uh, the newsstand as well. So this newsstand is a 9.6. So yeah, the the regular one I got a 9.8. So that is a that's another good book to have because uh, all of the all the Star Wars characters, I mean, uh, they seem to be uh, getting hot and uh, getting pricey. All right, next book. Um, this is a recent pickup. Uh, this is a uh, Stray Dogs. Love this book. Um, love the story and the, the art. And uh, this one is signed by Trish Forstner. Uh, yep, signed by Trish Forstner on 8-7-21. So yeah, I, I like this um, Dracula cover. So um, this is what I picked out. Fairly good price for it as well. And this is a issue uh, issue one. This is um this is actually the fifth printing. But uh, they've been doing a lot of great homage covers of um, of uh, horror movies, and uh, yeah, I really like the the Dracula one. All right, on to uh, something is killing the children. So this is uh, from Boom Studios. This is a comics and oddity edition. So this is a Jenny Frizen cover, kind of like a sketch cover with a little splash of uh, the blood there, red. And I uh, was able to get it as a 9.8. Got it for um, for a fairly uh, cheap price. And then I sent it into CGC. And uh, yeah, luckily it came back as a uh, 9.8. So yeah, so that is a Jenny Frizen cover. Something is killing the children. It's a, it's a great book. And um, yeah, looking forward to either, was it the TV series or a movie? So it's been option. All right, uh, this one here. This is a um, from Image Comics. This is Die. This is the version cover. This is a Stephanie Hans cover. So uh, met her in C two E two, and uh, yeah, very nice artist, and uh, love her work. So yeah, this is Die issue one. This is the version cover, and this is uh, an Image book. So yeah, great, great artist. All right, on to Invincible Iron Man issue seven. So this one here, this is the first appearance of uh, Riri Williams. Um, this is a Mary Jane Woman of Power variant. Not a 
great cover, but um, it's a first appearance of Riri Williams and also um, first appearance of uh, Tomo. And uh, yeah, uh, sent this one into C2E2 at the convention before COVID hit, and uh, this one came back as a 9.8. So yeah. So that is a, a nice one to have. Uh, first uh, appearance of Riri. Alright, on to a Punisher book. So this is a Punisher 218. This is a small wood variant cover. So this one here has uh, the Punisher donning the war machine armor. That's him uh, with the armor and uh, looking at the, the war machine helmet there. And um, yeah, one of the cool Punisher covers that I like. And this is uh, by Greg Smallwood. Okay, on to Spawn. So this one here, this is Spawn issue one. So this one took a while to come back. It took about like almost six months or so. And it came back as a 9.8. So I sent in two and um, both of them came back as a 9.8. And yeah, this is a great Todd McFarlane book. So yeah, first appearance of Spawn, Al Simmons. Um, has a pinup by Dale Keown. And a Spawn pinup by George Perez. So, so yeah, Spawn issue one. Alright, on to an ASM, um, the Amazing Spider-Man book. So yeah, this is... Um, First appearance of Venom, got a 9.4, great, great cover by uh, Todd McFarlane. It's been a uh, homage um, thousands of times, so yeah, this is um, one of my favorite ones. So yeah, lucky to have it back as a uh, 9.4. Could be pressable probably, but um, yeah, first appearance of Venom. And the last book. This one is more of a sentimental grail because uh, this is the first book I ever bought off the rack. And uh, it's Wolverine 17. So lucky to have it as a 9.8. Great John Burns uh, cover there. Love Wolverine when I was growing up. And this is uh, the first book I ever bought off the rack. So yeah, that is a great cover. Nice, uh, nice red cover. Really pops, uh, makes Wolverine pops out of the page there. So yeah. So that is my top 10, uh, top 10 books in my collection for uh, 2022. I uh, hope you guys like it. Um, I will leave a uh, David Seeking Near Mint comics uh, description down below. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next video. Pick what you like and like what you pick, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.